Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. My name is Angel, I love talking about influencers, where they came from, weird internet trends, and anything else that I just feel like talking about. So if that sounds like anything you're interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and feel free to give this video a thumbs up, it does really help out my teeny tiny channel. If not, that's totally fine. It's fine. Let's get into today's video. Today, we're reading fan fiction. I have never been a fan fiction girly, and who knows, maybe after the series, I might be. For some reason, fan fiction just makes me so uncomfortable. Like, imagine having a love story written about you and, like, not having any say in it. One thing I do want to note before diving into the story of my choice today is by reading this and calling it cringy, I am in no way, shape, or form trying to make fun of or discredit the author of this story. It will be linked in my description box down below if you decide you want to read it on your own or think it's a really good story and want to finish it before I get to it. We are starting off this series strong. We're going to read a fan fiction about one of my favorite YouTubers ever, Colby Brock. Um, if you guys have watched Sam and Colby, you'll know who I'm talking about. If you haven't watched Sam and Colby, I literally don't know what you're doing with your life. So this is called Rude, and I will put the username like right here um, because I'm not going to try to pronounce it and pronounce it wrong. There is no description for this. The only thing it says is, okay, this is a Sam and Colby fan fiction and I love them so much. They're amazing. Okay, bye. Thank you. If you are reading this, enjoy. <laughs> okay, here we go. Chapter one. After you straighten your wavy hair, you slip on your shoes and left with your friend Samantha. In asterisks. Your name is Rachel, and you have a best friend, Samantha. She's sassy, funny, but also cool. Just a little introduction. I'll leave you alone. Peace. And asterisk. Anyways, you and her head out to go to a carnival downtown. You love carnivals, and especially the rides in Foon. Who doesn't? Samantha yanks your arm because you're about to walk into the street and get ran over. Ah, Rachel. Ho. Look at you. You're already going crazy walking into the streets. You'll mess up your pretty face. She gives you a very worried but sassy face and you laugh. Sorry, Samantha. Thank you. You smile off into the distance and see the carnival lights from afar since it's quite dark. Look, Samantha, lights. She looks your way and smiles. Hurry, let's run. You both run to the carnival and finally make it. Phew. You breathe out, gasping for air. You giggle and you both go in and decide which ride you should try first. Rachel, let's do the teacups. She jumps up and down. No, that's so boring. How about a roller coaster? She nods with a cocky smile and walks to the ride. As you strap yourself in, Samantha struggles. You giggle and help her out and the ride starts. Rachel, I've never rode this one. Is it scary? You smile to her and wink. The ride yanks both of you back, and Samantha screams so loud, busting your eardrums. You woo in excitement and put your hands in the air. Yes. You yell out, and Samantha brings your hands down and squeezes it. Why did I nod to your stupid suggestion? She screams, and you laugh. After the ride, you two decide to get some cotton candy and sit on a bench and laugh together. Samantha, you cried like a baby. She pouts and smacks your boob. <laughs> you yelp and hold your boob. <laughs> what boob are you holding? She laughs as you do too. She stops laughing and nudges your shoulder and you look at her. What? You ask and she points her finger towards two boys looking around confused. One boy caught your attention instantly. You gulp as they come towards you too. You sit back on the bench and look down. Excuse me, girls, but do you know where the cotton candy is? We've seen you had some, so could you help? Samantha clicks her tongue and flips her hair. Of course, boys. You look up and see the brown-haired boy looking at you, and you quickly look away. She grabs your hand, and the boys follow you. Here, she points and keeps her eyes glued on the blondie. Thank you. By the way, I'm Sam. He holds out his Sam to Samantha, and she shakes it. Really, it's short for my name. I'm Samantha. She giggles, holds his hand out to you, and you shake it. I'm Rachel. You quietly say and pull your hand away. 
You look at Samantha and motion her to leave the boys, but she rolls her eyes at your shyness. She mouths, they're cute. You shake your head and Sam gets him some cotton candy, but the other boy doesn't. Are you girls by yourself? That's a creepy question. Sam asks and the other boy gives him a WTF face. Same. Yes, we are. Why? She smiles. I was just wondering if you want to hang out because you're cute. She blushes and giggles. Sure. He smiles and your face feels like the skin was being pulled back tight. You don't really hang out with a lot of people, especially boys. Just Samantha and food. (laughs) Me too, girl. The other boy sighs out of stress. You puff out your lip and nod. Same, dude. Same. You played games and hung out for a while. Rachel, I've noticed you and Colby are quiet. You look up to Sam and Samantha. You smile nervously. I'm usually quiet. Sorry. He smirks and looks at Colby. You didn't introduce yourself, Colby, did you? What? Sure I did. Mentally. Ugh, rude. Sam gives him a glare and he uncrosses his arms and lazily holds out his hand to greet you. He hesitantly shakes it and pulls away. You fakely smile to him and he does too. That's more like it, Sam says. And you cover your hands with your jacket sleeves and put your hoodie on, covering your embarrassed face. Literally me all the time. (laughs) The carnival ends and Samantha exchanges numbers with Sam and leaves. Really, Samantha? You ask angrily and flop on your bed and scream into your pillow. What? You need to learn to like other people. How do you expect to get a boyfriend? She sits on the bed before you and turns on the TV. I don't like other people and I want to be single forever. You say through the pillows. Ho, I was trying to hook you up with a hottie. What's his name? Oh, Colby. How could you deny? You lift your face up. He was rude and not my type. She raises her eyebrow and smirks. You told me your type and he's literally perfect from what I've seen. You flip over and deeply sigh. His personality is sh**. (laughs) She laughs and you glare at her. Just talk to him more. You roll your eyes. Good night. You cover yourself up and go to sleep. Next morning. This is my, I don't know why. This means asterisks. Next morning, you wake up facing Samantha and yawn and stretch. You sit up and stay like that for a bit and look around and use the restroom. You say because you forgot to remove your makeup. No. I'll have pimples everywhere. You wash your face and take a shower. You get out, brush your teeth, and Samantha walks in. How are you awake already? She asks and grabs her toothbrush and starts brushing her teeth. I don't know. I just got up. Literally me to my boyfriend every single day when he gets up at freaking 6 a.m. You say and rinse out your mouth and go to the room and change into high-waisted shorts and a hoodie. You slip on a sock. You slip on socks and chill on your bed and browse the web on your phone. (laughs) Did a boomer write this? Samantha walks out of the bathroom in a towel. You better close your eyes or you'll get jealous, she playfully says. And you close your eyes and wait for her to change. Are they going to fall in love at the end? That would be a really good plot twist. I'm done. You open your eyes and she sits beside you. She gets her phone out and squeals. You look at her curiously. What is it? She smiles huge. Sam invited us to his place to hang out. Your eyes widen. What? No. You have to go. I already texted him you're coming. Plus, I don't think Colby will even be there. I don't know though. You sit up on your knees. Really? She nods. We're leaving in an hour. I gave him our address and he's picking us up. After Sam picked both of you up, you all sat in his living room. You sit beside Samantha as she holds Sam's hand. They must they must be pretending to be in high school. So if you both don't know, I'm a Viner and YouTuber as well as Colby. Let's react to some of our cringy but funny vines. Literally, if anyone around me like ends up scrolling past one of my TikToks, I'm like, you better keep scrolling because I do not want to sit here and listen to myself or see myself on your phone. If somebody said, let's watch my videos together, I'm out. Call me a cab. I'm out. He says, and Samantha giggles. He takes out his laptop from his room and pulls up his Vine videos. Oh, prepare to laugh. He sarcastically said and hit play. Throughout the video, you laugh uncontrollably, even though you thought they were stupid. You thought to yourself that Colby is different. In ways like funny, nice, and weird, also loud. 
very loud. He must be different behind camera and not himself in videos. You sigh and hear someone close the door. They all look at the entrance of the living room and Colby walks in. He looks up at all of you and gives you a pissed look. He walks to the couch and sits beside Sam. You didn't tell me you were having guests today, Sam. He glares at you. You give him an innocent face and he looks away. But they're my guest. Yeah, but it's my house. You just live here. Sam furrows his eyebrows. Whatever. Come on. This says, come on for exclamation point S. I don't know what that means. Let's go to my room for peace. They both stand up and you do too. You walk past Colby and look into his gorgeous eyes. So rude. Chapter two. As you were all in his room, you watched movies, then it hit you. Your piss. You need to pee. That's such a weird way to word it. You sit up and nervously ask Sam where the restroom was. Down the hall to your right, second door. You nod and try to hold in your pee. You make it and go in. You lock it and quickly pull down your pants and stuff to pee. After you pee, you wash your hands and go to the door to leave, but instead you bump into someone. You grunt and look up and see it's Colby. You gulp and leave to Sam's bedroom. They both look at you as you quickly close the door. What's up? He asks. You swallow your spit and smile. Nothing. They unsurely look at you and look back at the movie. Hey, Samantha, can we all hang out again? At least next week, he asks. Sure. He looks at you and you slightly nod. Colby has to come because he's Colby. You bite your lip and watch the movie. You both leave the house as he drives you back to yours. They kiss goodbye and hug. You cringe and go to your room. Don't be like that, Rachel. She smiles. Love struck by Sam and slides down the door and holds your heart. You've only known him for a day. She looks at you holding her heart. I know, but it feels like a million. You throw a pillow at her. Shut up. Let's go out to eat, ho. (laughs) She stands up and you guys go out and eat. What should we eat? You ask, locking arms with her and smile. In and out. Oh my God. I would kill for some in and out. She raises her eyebrows. Yes, because their food is so good. (laughs) Amen, sister. You both order your food and go home to eat it. You sit at the table with her and stuff your face with food. So today, when you came back from the restroom, what happened? You seemed embarrassed. You choke on your food and look at her. Nothing. She crosses her arms and smirks. Shut up. She says and eats her food and keeps annoyingly staring at you. You glare at her and stick out your tongue as she laughs. Please tell me. I promise to never tell. I'm your best friend, Rachel. You wipe your mouth with a napkin and sit up properly. Do you really want to know? She nods. It's not really something to share, but when I came out of the bathroom, I bumped into Colby's chest and I'm telling you, it wasn't a good feeling. I think he works out. You giggle as she does as well. Then what happened? He didn't say anything, but he glared at me carelessly, of course. What's his deal? I did nothing. You say, and she presses her lips together. Maybe he isn't straight. You say, no, he's completely straight. Maybe he's shy because of your prettiness. You furrow your eyebrows. First, I'm not pretty. And second, he's rude. That's not shy. She shrugs and eats some more. You look away and sigh and eat too. You both shower. Not together, weirdos. Not yet. And go to bed. Next morning. After getting ready for the day, you flop on your bed, bored because Samantha's at work. Do they live together? I'm confused. You sigh and get on your phone. Have I followed Sam on Instagram yet? You purse your lips as you ask yourself and check. You have and look at who he's following because that's not creepy. You see Colby and your eyes widen. Duh, they're friends. You had to follow Colby too because to show your new friendship, you're getting along with him. You wanted to look at his Instagram, but that's too weird. You hesitantly click on it and scroll through his pictures. They are all hot and cute. Oh my God, shut up, Rachel. You blush, ashamed of yourself, and clicked out of his account. I should have never followed his rude ass. You smile and turn off the phone and just lay there. You thought of roaming around the streets for a while, so you got ready. (laughs) You put on an oversized jumper sweater and black skinny jeans. Jumper sweater? I don't think that's what she meant. You put on an oversized jumper sweater and black skinny jeans with your black vans. You put on makeup and grab some money because you never know. You walk along Hollywood Boulevard and and look around even though you've been through here a thousand times. You look at the ground and step your foot in each sidewalk and keep walking and you bump into a chest. How many times? 
You hold your head up and look to see Colby. Your eyes widen and you step back. Sorry, you say and hear something jingle beside you. You look over to your right and see a homeless person holding out their cup. You smile and walk over to them. You pull out your money and put all of it in there. Here you go, sir. How are you doing? You kneel down in front of him and he smiles. You love comforting people with nothing and giving them a big smile. I'm doing amazing since you're here, sweetie. Thank you. You're so nice. You nod and smile. Anything for you, sir. Well, goodbye. Good luck. You stand up and wave bye to him and he does too. You forgot about Colby and you turn around and see him still standing there with a very small smile on his face. You glare at him and cross your arms as his smile fades. Don't give me that look, he says, and you flip him off. He rolls his eyes and walks away. You watch him walk away and you call his name. Colby. He looks back. What? You fidget with your fingers. Is Sam home? I need to talk with him. He walks back to you. Yeah. Thanks, asshole. <laughs> oh, I need you to show me where you live again. He sighs and walks ahead of you and you follow him quickly. Could you slow down? My tiny legs can't keep up walking as fast as you do. He ignores you. So rude. You glare at him from behind and arrive at his house. He opens the door and motions his hand for you to go in. He's in his room. I don't trust you, so I'll take you. (laughs) You go in and he takes you to Sam's room. He knocks on the door. Yeah? (laughs) You have an ugly visitor. (laughs) You furrow your eyebrows and the door opens. Is this going to be like an enemies to lovers? Sam looks at you and smiles. Why are you here? You glance at Colby as he's leaving. Sam notices and motions you to quickly come in. You sit on his bed and he sits at his desk. So what's up? Are you getting along with Colby? No, I came here to ask you if he's always rude like that. I don't like it and I don't like him. He clicks his tongue and relaxes in his chair. I'm not sure, but all I know is that him and his girlfriend of a year broke up. I don't know why, but yeah. Oh, so that must be it. But he's so nice to everybody else. What did I do? He shrugs. Not sure. Also, when he does that, he usually likes a girl or hates them. For you, he probably likes you. You shake your head. No, he doesn't like me. He probably hates me and that's it. (laughs) Me. Okay, whatever you think. Where's Samantha? At work. She should be back by three. Can you ask her if she and I just hang out together? Of course, that'll be her dream. Literally, when she left you last night, she was love struck. He smirks. Really? Me too. She's awesome. You two have only known each other not even three days. I know but she's my type. Okay, just don't be a cringy couple in front of me at least. He nods. Well, I'll leave. Thanks. Bye. You give him a high five and leave his house. At least someone here is being rational. As you're walking, you see Colby again, but not alone. He was with a girl. Your eyes sink and your lips turn pale. What is happening with me? I'm a little mad and a little jealous. He holds her hand in his and she kisses his cheek. You walk past him and he glances at you and you look up to him. It all felt in slow motion. Your eyes lock, but you look away and walk away quickly. That must be his new girlfriend. Why did he glance at me? You thought to yourself. Out of all the people walking past them, it had to be you he glances at. Aren't they at his house? Are there a lot of people at his house? Why would he be looking at anybody else? You sigh a little out of jealousy. Quit. You lightly smack yourself as you arrive to your house. Smacking yourself is a red flag. You walk past the mirror and notice your face is a bit red. You go to the bathroom and use it. After you use it, you slam yourself in the bed and get on Instagram again. You curiously want to know if he posts any pictures of him and his girlfriend. You're not a stalker. You're just curious. Okay? Me. Every time I stalk somebody on social media. Okay. You click on his account and see already five photos of them in the past 10 minutes. She's so pretty. It makes you feel insecure. And he's smiling. He has a heart-melting smile. It hurts. Rachel, what the f*** are you talking about? Stop. You internally scream and see a picture of them kissing. Uh, You turn your phone off and smack yourself really hard. (laughs) Red flag. You don't even know him. Stop worrying about his love life, you B. I don't even know. Thank you. Bye. That's like the little little ending. Okay, that's where we're going to end it today. I'm not going to lie. I kind of like this story. Like I said, it'll be linked down in my description box below. And I'll come back with another two or three chapters at some point. Make sure and like this video if you enjoyed listening to this story. And 
hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It does help out my teeny tiny channel. If you guys have any suggestions for videos that you want to see, make sure and leave them down in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.